Hi, Mr. Richards here, and today's lesson is titled, Use the Pythagorean Theorem. Our objective is to solve problems using the Pythagorean Theorem. Now, this is part two of two lessons involving the Pythagorean Theorem. The first part, lesson five, called the Pythagorean Theorem, is a more basic introduction in how we get to a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We will be using and applying those properties in this lesson. And our real-world link is parasailing. In parasailing, a tow rope is used to attach a parasailer to a boat. I've actually gone a couple times. It's a lot of fun. Number one, what type of triangle is formed by the horizontal distance, which is this, the vertical height, which is this, and the length of the tow rope, which is that? Well, that looks like a right triangle to me. As you can see, this kind of right angle right there. So let's call that a right triangle. And explain, well, if you actually look at this and you were to take 21 squared plus 72 squared, will it equal 75 squared? Well, let's find out. 21 squared is 441. 72 squared is 5,184. And 75 squared is 5,625. And when you add the 441 to the 5,184, you get 5,625. So, hey, We've proven now that it is a right triangle. Now, suppose the wind picks up and the parasailer whee, rises to 50 feet and remains 72 feet behind the boat. Write an equation that will help you find how much tow rope C the parasailer will need. So basically, we're still at a horizontal distance of 72 feet behind the boat, but now we're up to 50 feet. And so now we're looking for the length of the tow rope. And so when we look here, we have our sides A and B that are our legs of this triangle and our side C, which is the tow rope, the hypotenuse. And so we'll have 50 squared or 72 squared. It doesn't matter what you write first with the legs. But 50 squared plus 72 squared is going to equal C squared. Now solve the equation to find the amount of rope the parasailer will need. Round to the nearest foot. Well, 50 squared is 2,500. 72 squared is 5,184. And that needs to equal C squared. Well, when you add 2,500 to 5,184, you get 7,600. 84 equals c squared. Then take the square root of both sides, and you get about 87.6 feet equals c. And we're asked to round to the nearest foot, and the 6 tenths will round the 87 up to 88 feet. Now, number four. Suppose the tow rope is 300 feet long and the para parasailer is 200 feet above the water surface. Write an equation to find the horizontal distance B behind the boat. Okay, let's draw a triangle first. We're looking for the horizontal distance, which is B here. We're saying the tow rope is 300 feet long, and the tow rope's been our hypotenuse C, and we're now 200 feet up. Well, this looks like we're going to have 200 squared plus b squared is going to equal the hypotenuse 300 squared. Now that we have a basic reintroduction of the Pythagorean theorem and how we can use this in something fun like parasailing, although when I've been parasailing the last thing I did think about was right triangles, but that's neither here nor there. Let's go on to solve questions involving the Pythagorean Theorem. 
Now, the Pythagorean theorem can be used to solve a variety of problems. It is helpful to use the diagram to determine what part of the right triangle is unknown. Remember, you can't just assume that everything is A and B and you're just going to add those together, square them, and do your little thing and take the square root at the end. Sometimes when you have both legs, that is all you do. But oftentimes you're going to have one leg in the hypotenuse. And remember, you set things up differently if you're given two legs and looking for the hypotenuse versus given one leg in the hypotenuse looking for the other leg. Those questions are solved differently. Our first guided example says to write an equation that can be used to find the length of the ladder, then solve and round to the nearest tenth. Well, we're given a horizontal distance here of 8 and 75 hundredths, or 8 and 3 fourths, and our vertical distance is 18, and our right angle is right there. Remember, our two legs come off of the right angle, and those can be A and B, and our hypotenuse is opposite, which is C. And so this time we do have a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and we know our a and b. And you can see how they solved and took the square root and approximated. And again, since the length can't be negative, the ladder is about 20 feet long. In this example, looking for the height of the airplane, it's a bird, it's a plane. We have the right angle here. Our legs are these two sides here. And our hypotenuse is opposite the right angle, which is this 12. And so this time, we know our A is 10. They don't know the B, that's just B. And the C is this 12. So when you set up A squared plus B squared equals C squared, we know the A, we don't know the B, we know the C, and you can see how we solve this to get 6 and 6 tenths miles. And now as we do this on our own, Mr. Parsons wants to build a new banister for the staircase shown. If the rise of the stairs is, of a building is 5 feet and the run is 12 feet, sounds like slope, what will be the length of the new banister? Well, here's our right angle. Our legs we call A and B. So we're going to call the 5 our A and the 12 our B and the side opposite the right angle is always our hypotenuse, which in this case is going to be C. So when we have A squared plus B squared equals C squared, we can say, all right, my A is 5 squared plus my B is 12 squared is going to equal C squared. Now, 5 squared is 25, 12 squared is 144, and that equals c squared. 25 plus 144 is 169 equals c squared. And if I take the square root of both sides, since we're dealing with a distance here, it's going to stay positive. The square root of 169 is 13. And we're dealing with feet, so 13 feet equals c is my answer. Now, you can use the Pythagorean Theorem to find measures in three-dimensional figures, and you can see the dotted lines here. A 12-foot flagpole is placed in the center of a square area. To stabilize the pole, a wire will stretch from the top of the pole to each corner of the square. The flagpole is 7 feet from each corner of the square. What is the length of each wire? Round to the nearest tenth. Well, you can see where we drew in the right triangle ABC. You can see our right angle here. We have our legs A and B. So 7 squared and 12 squared is going to equal this BC squared. You can see where they took the square, added them up, took the square root, and in rounding the nearest tenth they had a positive 13 and 9 tenths. Now you may be wondering wait, why do I see this plus and minus throughout the lesson? And it seems like, Mr. Richards, that you're ignoring it. I'm not ignoring it. When you're dealing with positive distances, it's going to be positive. But technically, if you think about, if I say x squared equals 25, well, what can you put in there that's true? Well, you could put in 5, because 5 squared is 25. But so is negative 5. 
negative 5 squared is negative 5 times negative 5, which is a positive 25. So when we're given this equation, x squared equals 25, when you take the square root of both sides, technically x does equal plus or minus 5 because 5 squared is 25 and negative 5 squared is 25. But when we're dealing with these real-world problems, we often don't deal in negatives. But it is important to know when you take the square root of both sides of an equation that you have that negative option. Now, the top part of a circus tent is in the shape of a cone. The tent has a radius of 50 feet. The distance from the top of the tent to the edge is 61 feet. How tall is the top part of the tent round to the nearest whole number? Well, you can see our right triangle here, and I'm actually going to redraw this so we can see it just a little bit better on our screen. We have a right angle here, 50 feet there, 61 feet here, and we have an unknown side here. Well, remember, our legs are A and B, and you can switch the order of A and B. It's just the two legs. And then we have our C is opposite the right angle as the hypotenuse. And A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Now, I don't know my A. That's my unknown, so I'm just going to keep it A squared. So lonely. Plus B squared is 50, so 50 squared equals 61 squared. So A squared plus 50 squared is 2,500 equals 61 squared, which is 3,721. Now, before we take any kind of square roots, we need to get that a squared alone. So let's subtract the 2,500 from both sides so that this cancels out, and we're left with a squared equals 1,221. And as we go to take the square root of both sides, a is going to equal plus or minus, technically, 34 and 9 tenths and some extra in your calculator feet. But of course, since we're just dealing here with the distance, it's going to stay positive. So our answer here is 35, since we're on the nearest whole number, feet. And that is it for this lesson on using the Pythagorean Theorem. Good luck.